Okay, everyone, welcome to uh, introduction to WordPress, what to do when someone makes your WordPress site or you just got your basic site and you want to um, add some stuff, change some stuff, do all that website stuff that you want to do. So we're just going to jump right in and uh, we're going to use this site as an example. This is just a blog I put together about television and just some stuff about TV culture and America and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, in order to log in, just go to your website and over on the right or maybe the bottom you should see an area that says meta or login or something like that but you want to click login right here and um, on your side it'll look different but basically you want to get to this login page unless you were already logged in so just type your username and your password click login and uh, then you're gonna see your dashboard and uh, pretty much every time you log into a WordPress site uh, this is where you're going to end up first. And your dashboard is kind of like your home base. You can customize all these little information blocks or whatever. But um, we'll just run through basically the menu over here and all the different ways that you can change content on the site. And then it'll appear here in this window. And uh, I'll show you what each one is. So when you first log in, you've got um, you know just some main stats. You have just some uh, stat statistics about your website. You've got one post, one page, one category, and eight tags. Tags are like, you know, just words that uh, tell someone what your blog is about. So this is just some immediate quick stats. This next block is going to show your recent comments. Uh, if anyone has commented on your blog, or sometimes a lot of people just have spam that goes into your spam folder, folder it'll show up here. Over here is the quick press. This is where you could, you know, do like a quick blog post, you know, just type something in here. Um, blah 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 and a couple of tags like uh, example content blog that's where you can do it real quick just right away if you're in a hurry we're not going to do it right now um, here's some recent drafts these are posts that I've created but I haven't um, I haven't posted yet I've just prepared them back here in the back end while I'm writing them so they're just in draft status but um, these are ones I've got I've got cooking um, this is some news from WordPress just some stuff for WordPress people that are really into this so um, not too much that you need to go do over here and then this is just an area about new plugins plugins are little things that you add to your website um, that let it do different different stuff so really the only thing I usually do on the dashboard is maybe just check you know if I have any new comments or um, how many posts and pages I have that's really all I do with the dashboard but this is where you'll spend the bulk of your time over here so when you first log in, you see the main categories, and when you put your mouse over it, a little arrow appears. But if you click it, it's got some more subcategories. But let's just run through the main ones here. We've got posts. So that's new content that you're adding to your site, new news and blog updates and things like that. Next, you've got media, like your pictures, your video, audio, things like that. This is where it's all going to be found right here. Links is where you build, um, you know, you put links to other blogs or websites that you like and uh, it lets you manage all those links right here in this area pages are like the pages on your website so you've got a bunch of different content like about us contact us those are different from posts posts are going to show up on the same page your blog page pages are, are different pages they're like more like a traditional website so if you can think about it like that comments are where you're going to um, approve or delete comments before they post live Appearance, you know, changes the look and feel of your website and the theme of it and, um, you know, some of the features going on. Plugins are these, uh, this is really what makes WordPress impressive. Plugins are little pieces of software that people are out there creating and uh, uploading for you to use that lets you add new little bits of features and content to your website, like a slideshow gallery or a window to link to your Twitter account or you know a little dancing pony you know whatever it is there's tons of plugins out there and this is just an area that lets you manage all those plugins and see what you've got installed um, they're all right here in this plugin section users is where uh, if you have multiple people who access and use your blog this is where you can organize and um, create permissions for all the different users you have and tools and settings this is more technical stuff related to your website where you'll change uh, you know specific things about your website that you know chances are once it's set up first you won't need to go back and do so that's the main use uh, areas of the uh, of the back end here um, 
up here is the, this is like your quick quick links like your um, new post drafts uploads and then over here this is going to tell you your username what you're logged in as and you know log out just hit that when you're done if you want for security purposes so let's just run through some more of the content over here let's click posts and under posts we have edit add new post tags categories so if you want to see all the posts that you've already created just hit edit and in this window here these are all the ones that you've uh, you've published out there or ones that you have waiting to be published and you can see next to it it says draft so most of these I haven't published this is the only one I published down here um, and if you want to actually edit that post just click edit and then up in the window comes your uh, comes your blog post and you can scroll down and see what you've got there so that's what edit post is if you want to add a new post we'll go ahead and try it now let's say um, we're gonna be at a convention this Sunday so we say um, meet up with us Sunday I can't spell then we go down here and just insert some content hey we're going to be in DC this Sunday come find us alright so a real simple blog post and let's say we want to insert a picture um, we can do all that stuff here and um, before we publish it we can just hit preview and see what it's gonna look like in our post so here it is nothing fancy close that out and then uh, if you're ready to publish hit publish or if you want to save it for later hit save so it's pretty easy um, in a second we'll come back to the actual formatting and picture settings and stuff but for now just suffice it to say that if you want to add a new post about something that's happening this is how you do it boom boom and then down here you can add uh, an excerpt and you can also allow if you want people to be able to comment on it and the tags category this is where you just add one word you know tags about what your post is about so convention comma DC comma uh, Sunday hit add and now those little tags are going to appear in your post that's going to help you get found uh, online so that's how you would do it um, let's keep going though we'll go back here to posts we're done with that and we'll just hit save draft for now because we're not going to really do anything with this um, let's take a look under the media category and see what we've got 